Hi, this is Ollie Locke and welcome back to Celebrity Good Grooming Guide. I'm sat here with X Factor singing sensation, Luke Friend, whose hair is even more famous than my own. Lukey, how are we doing? I'm good. Good. Would you say that though? I think we're on par with our hair. You reckon? When I had long hair and I cut it off, I remember sitting in, in the queue at Primark in Hammersmith and not one person asked for a photo and it was when Maiden Chelsea was huge. I've never felt so kind of horrendous in my life. I was like, I'm in Primark. This is the place where people should be asking for photos. I was at General Lee's, a queue of 30 people and suddenly... Do you by any chance we were buying a tiger onesie? A tiger? I've got one of them. I've got one. Well, is that what you're probably doing, right? I've got you? one of them. I've got the monkey one as well. I don't have that one. Anyway. Not as cool um, as me. How's life been since X Factor? How's it all been? All crazy? Yeah, it's been absolutely mental. Yeah. I've got loads of festivals since writing an album. Yeah. i um, signed to a label. It's pretty intense, but amazing. Um, Got a festival with Justin Bieber in... That's awesome. In month, England? In month, yeah. That's awesome. In England, Fusion Festival. You should get a little selfie with Biebs. I will, I will. I've um, met him before. We're going to we're gonna be on by and talk about tattoos and stuff like that. Yeah. See how, it, see how it goes. He's actually quite a normal guy. We did Chatty Man together. And he was a very normal guy. He seemed really chilled. Yeah, he's cool. Nice guy. All right, dude. How you doing? How tall is he? He's not very tall. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm quite small. Is he tall? Is he tall? Like, like, you're taller than me. <laughs> Uh, I'm I'm pretty small, and he was prob I think he was probably my height, maybe a bit shorter. So I'm saying probably five nine, five ten, ish, maybe That's a bit it. shorter. Anyway, um, now what we're here to talk about mainly is your your beauty regime. Do you have one? Not really. Not at all. No. So what are your major skin issues or any issues you have to do with male beauty? Any anything that you sit there and go, shit, I wish it was slightly better. Late nights. Late yeah. nights and breakouts, is that what it yeah. is? Or day after you sit there. This is what's happening break. right now, okay, late fair nights. Enough. Fair enough, good, you're allowed, you're allowed. Generally, the best thing to do with that is exfoliation, um, skin regime, make sure you make sure you wash, and even if you use face wipes before you go to sleep, sort it out, just wipe your face. Gets rid of all the crap from, from nightclubs and all the stuff that you practice. So that's a up. big thing. So I think that's really important in. when you get back in. Um, if you can moisturize off that, the dream. So the cup of tea, then that. Cup of tea, then that. If you do have breakups, Breakups? Breakups got a different show. So different show altogether, Luke. Don't start this. Breakouts. Breakouts. We're not talking about relationships today, we're talking about breakouts. <laughs> Some of the selfies I've been in, I'm you know, like, surprised I don't scare the parents when they show pictures to the people. It's like, I know, I, who's this person you're watching? I don't mind having <laughs> a selfie ever in my life. I, I really love meeting people and stuff like that. It's when you're hungover on the way to Tesco, they always get you. And you sit there and have a selfie, you can't when you're say in your no. jogging bottoms. Can't when you're no. in your tiger so onesie. Like, yeah, and you're not wearing anything, you look awful and your hair's disarray. That's when you always get me. I, I, was, I, I did at one point wear makeup when I was playing gigs. Mm. And because I was sweating and on my face and stuff like that, it literally broke out even yeah. worse than before. So I stopped doing that. Okay, so what I'm going to recommend is a BB cream. Now, I love this product. It's, it's light but it gives you a really good coverage and it's exactly Looking fab you already. Need. You are actually. All right, now if you want to go and have a look in the tiles, see what you think. Yeah? Yeah. I love how I'm looking in the tiles. I feel like a bit like Harry Potter. I know. About to go into the brick wall. I know, I'd love that, wouldn't you? See what I mean? So automatically, with no time at all, it's just, it just puts a, a, a coat over your face that makes it... Makes yeah, it's not too noticeable. If you are to be more worried and you sit there and go, okay, a couple of spots are pissing you off, and you go, this isn't great. This Always isn't, happens. Yeah, okay. So. I think matte concealers are brilliant. Okay, this one might be a bit dark for you. However, what I'm going to do is put them on a couple anyway. So I want to show you exactly what you can do and immediately they will be so reduced. So with hair more famous than me, Luke Friend has sported these fabulous dreadlocks for years. Now, how did this, where did it start? Well, it started four years ago. I was watching a Bob Marley documentary oh, yeah, yeah. at Christmas and uh, I just used a towel on my head. And literally, that's all I did. What do you mean, used a towel? Well, that's a, I just literally, or a tea cosy. Like, I wore like this blue tea cosy. My hair was like mid length at the time. Like, more or less the same length as yours. Yeah, and yeah. I just literally rubbed my head. Now, tell like, me about what you have to do to them, because this is a part of male grooming I've never touched before. I've never touched dreads before, but I, this is something I'm quite interested in. What do you have to do to them? Do you wash them? I, yeah, I get into a routine where I probably wash my hair every three weeks. Okay. Right, but, every three weeks, but yeah, so you like actually once. wash it like this? Yeah, yeah, I wash it with um, like coconut, like butter sort of stuff. Okay. Do you, have you, have really. you used dry shampoo really? Never. No, you don't, that's not really something you use. So after a night out, before, in, in between washes, Batista's the best way to go, I would say. And so if you do this, make sure you shake it. 
Smells lovely. It does smell good, doesn't it? This is a coconut one. This is coconut and tropics. So I tell you what, that, and then you rub it in because sometimes what happens is because ideally you should go for the brown hair one. If you've got brown hair, go for the brown hair one. If you've got blonde hair, go for the blonde hair one. Um, because otherwise sometimes it can get a little bit grey. I actually quite like that. If you rub it in, the grey immediately goes. So uh, there you go. You literally have no more greasy hair at the front, uh, which means which means you've been batiste -ed. Um, so Batiste we've done, nice. we've done, I know, I've just made hashtag that up. Batiste. Hashtag, hashtag Batiste. So we've pretty much sorted out Luke's life. We've sorted out your skin, we've sorted My out your hair. Um, is there anything else you want to touch on? Not breakups. Not breakups. <laughs> well, that's for another episode. Thank you everyone for watching. This has been the Celebrity Gurumen Guy with me and Luke Friend. Have a lovely day, guys, and remember, keep beautifying.